today I want to share with you how I put together a hot cocoa station here in my kitchen. I really love when home decor and function collide and you can have something that serves a purpose but is also cute and really fun. So today I'm going to share with you our hot cocoa station. Okay, so here is a look at our cocoa station. So it is here in the corner of our kitchen. I went ahead and I used one of these tiered trays. I picked this one up at Walmart a year or two ago. Um, you can often find these at places like Hobby Lobby. Walmart even may still have them. So starting at the top here, I added some hot cocoa in the back. I like that after we use the cocoa, I can go ahead and just refill it with um, a cocoa that we like and just keep using this really super cute container. Next, I've added some little jars of toppings. We have a bulk food store here in Canada and they have all types of different sprinkles and they had some holiday themed sprinkles. So I picked up some candy canes and holly berries and then in this little jar back here, we also have crushed candy canes and those two came from the bulk food store. So down below I added two mugs. Initially I planned to use like some Santa themed mugs but they just didn't really fit in this tray so I went ahead and used these Ray Dunn mugs. I've got Bah Humbug and Silent Night and inside I've placed a vintage candy cane. In behind I have a peppermint striped kind of loaf pan. I got this at Michael's a couple years ago. They often have these sort of things in the baking aisle. And in it I put some hot cocoa packets so that we always kind of got hot cocoa on hand. These ones are flavored so if people don't want a regular hot chocolate there's mint and um, vanilla and just other flavors. Also in behind I have a jar of marshmallows. My husband laughed and said you needed a much bigger jar for marshmallows. So we do have a lot in the cupboard still, um, but <laughs> apparently my family loves marshmallows and this isn't enough, but it's good enough for now. So for decoration, I added these two snowmen. Uh, my mom gave these to me a long time ago and they are actually salt and pepper shakers, but I've never used them as such. I just find that they're so cute and I love to add them into my kitchen with the decor. And they really seem to go with the hot cocoa station. So they're just kind of there for a purpose. Now you could put um, cinnamon or even cocoa powder in these little guys and sprinkle that onto your hot cocoa but uh, there's nothing in ours because I don't think my family would really go that route. Lastly I added this garland in and so this is actually from the dollar store a few years ago and these are just styrofoam balls threaded on a string and I've just draped it into the trays. I've added this little bowl here of candy. Now in true transparency, I'm going to stick this in the cupboard up above. Uh, I know my kiddos will go through this like crazy and mama just doesn't need sugared up kids, especially around Christmas. But I will pull this down every once in a while, especially when we have hot chocolate or especially when guests are over. Over here I've got a Scentsy warmer and it is a warming Christmas cottage. So my home smells like cinnamon and all of the good Christmas scents. I love this scent. This warmer is actually no longer available. It's quite an old Scentsy warmer, uh, but I always love to pull it out at Christmas time. I just love the red and white stripe. And I like the contrast of the red and white stripe on the warmer with the red and white polka dot bowl. Just kind of gives a little visual interest. And lastly, I've added this print and it is um, a gingerbread recipe. It is hand drawn and it is so adorable. I just stuck it in a frame. Now behind here, I have actually got an outlet. And this is actually the area where I do a lot of Christmas baking. So this portion of my counter is usually kept fairly clear of things so that I can do a lot of prep work and Christmas baking and things like that. So I will just move the picture and plug in my KitchenAid mixer or beaters or anything that I need um, over in this area and the picture is easy to slide. I got a lot of outlets in my kitchen and they can be a bit of an eyesore. 
So my trick is to hide a lot of them with frames and jars and different things like that so you don't always see them. Thank you guys so much for watching this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up I would love it if you would hit the subscribe button too if you haven't yet already we'd love to have you hang out at Sweetly Home a little bit longer we love to talk about all things heart and home wishing you all a very Merry Christmas bye